Hi, my name's Tim, and we're going to unbox this Outback Apollo 4 burner gas in red. And it's a special one from Hobbies, apparently. So let's see what's inside. Right, here we are. This is the home base uh, red Outback Apollo 4 burner gas and we're going to see what it's like. What I do suggest is one of these to get it back home because it's very heavy. Ah. Right. Let's start building it up. Well, I've got all the uh, the bits spread out, and we're just looking at the instructions here. Uh, first thing it says is to construct the sides and the base. Right, it says to put some uh, screws in the side holes. So where do these go? These go in this side here. That's one. These are self-tapping ones. That's two. Oh, that's three. Apparently we need three more screws at this side. Okay, we've got um, four wheels here. And it suggests putting the two locking ones at the front. So I'll give that a go. I think this is where your spanner comes in. Yeah, it's very tight, so you need a, definitely the spanner of some description here. That's tight. Okay, okay. we need to put the uh, restraint strip on now, which is this device. And this goes down here. Tight. Mm, nice and tight. Right, the next thing, we've got to fit these. Now these, I just managed to fit them wrong. So uh, there's a long sticky down tab here. Now that should go to the back, it seems. It's time for the big one. Now this is quite heavy and it should just slide into place here. Is it in theory? There you go. That was easy. And just need some big bolts to go through the holes. While we're still in the position, we're going to attach the regulator hose. I'm not going to use any pliers, so don't do this at home. That should be tight enough. Okay, now we've got the side burner that goes on there. And we need some uh, bolts, a couple of bolts here. Next thing to do is attach the front panel. We've got a couple of uh, bolt and a nut. And that goes on there. Right, through.
nice and solid. So now we're going to attach the burner nozzle valve, and the knob, and the spark button down here. Put those there for a moment. We need two self, not self tapping there's two screws here. Goes through the hole. And the secret is to pop that through that one. Work. Stick that on there, tighten that up. That's nice and tight, all good. And this top device goes over there. And we have another screw. There it is, a little screw there. Can you see that? That screws in the burner. That's good. A side one there. I think. Okay, and the last thing to uh, connect is the sparking device which is here and that just comes out from underneath the uh, and pops on there so there well, that's uh, everything connected all that's left now on the uh, burner is to pop that in the holes that's ready to go Okay, all that's left to do now is to screw the uh, handles on, which are these. Well, it sounds like the guests are here, and we've just about completed it. That didn't take long. Pop that in the hole, slide it in. One little item now is to install the tray here to put your little goodies in. That's good. One of the last things is the drip tray that goes in here. And that's why it's sloping to the back because there's a hole for it to catch. And I think underneath there there's a, another little tray which should capture it. Which way is it? That way. Marvellous. And the final thing now is to add the burner covers, should I say. These distribute the flames and they go in the little slot. That's good. So the last things to go in is the burger bar. Okay, we got the big one goes in, and this one, and there is your barbecue. Okay, so here's the Outback all finished now, ready for the barbie. We're going to press the button, see if that works. Yep, that's going. That's doing well, and they're all burning up. Let's try this one. Oh yes, that's all good. Everything seems to be working. We'll just uh, burn it off and ready to go. That is a change for you, isn't it?